This is our rooster milkshake. Um, he is a Bile Felder. He is almost two years now. So he has quite the spurs on him. And if you've seen any of our previous videos, then you'll see um, the damage that he's done to some of the hens. He's a very heavy guy. He, he's probably oh, about a nine pound rooster. So that doesn't help, plus these spurs. Um, we have two other roosters, so we're actually rehoming him to a friend's house. He's getting a little beat up on his comb from the other roosters, but before we rehome him, we are going to despur him um, because we don't want to pass on that same issue to our friends, but we wanted to give him a good home because he is a good boy. Um, I do love the Bile Felder breeds. He's, my son goes in there to collect eggs, and he's a very gentle rooster. Knock on wood has never attacked anybody, but we're gonna move along quickly because we heated up our potato already. We're doing the potato method. I don't know if anybody has seen that before, um, where you put the hot potato on the spur to kind of loosen the spur, and then you use the pliers to kind of de-sheath the spur. So I'm gonna hold him between my legs like this. Half of potato here, which I have wrapped up. We just had a sweet potato, so we'll give it to the chickens afterwards. So chickens can have sweet potatoes, but not regular potatoes. So you put it on the spur, and you want to get it as high up as you can um, to the connection, but not too much on the skin because it is hot. It's not too hot to touch but it's definitely warm. Oh, oh, yep, yep, he's feeling it a little bit there. Can you feel the warmth? Good boy. I probably like, have to fast forward the video because it's two minutes. Pliers. Put a little sweet potato on there, and you grab firmly. And you just, you just rock, and it pops right off. So you kind of deglove it. So that's basically like a really hard fingernail that's grown. And you can use a little blood stop on this. Um, let me go grab the silver spray. We're actually going to put a Luma Shield spray bandage on him. Let's see, you can see, oh, fine, fine, fine. good boy, good boy. To cover that up. We're gonna do the other one and then we'll show you how we do the silver spray. Lightly twisted actually, and it just popped up. So, this is the growth tissue that's underneath. So, he will grow a spur back again, it will just take a little bit longer. We're just patting the blood a little. He's an older rooster, so he has a pretty good spur there. This is our spray bandage. Spray, 
spray bandage. You can use blood stop too. But he will, the girls will be better off and he will have a good life. So be better off for having those taken off. And he really didn't flinch too much. So I'm sure it's not the most comfortable thing, but it, it didn't seem too painful for him. I put him back with his ladies. Good boy. And we'll get him an apple, our special treat. Oh, and he didn't poop on me while I was doing it, so that's nice. So, but uh, we'll watch him and um, make sure he doesn't seem painful. But he's gonna go get some food and water, and the hens will be better off. Oh, and we can give the sweet potatoes to the hens. excited about the sweet potatoes.